Years ago, a friend of mine gave me these speaker boxes because the tweeters were toast on both sides. And I tried to recover it, but the sound was not really what I wanted it to be. And then I built these boxes and these horns. This assembly works perfectly fine, there's absolutely no problem with it. These speaker boxes I use only for the basses. They give re really nice, deep and round basses. That's nice. And then I have here the higher basses, the mid-range, the high mid-range and the very high frequencies up there. What I would like to do is build a new speaker cabinet and reuse these two little speakers that in here so that it will be one assembly because I think the look of this and this it's not the same, it's a little bit out of square. And of course you could ask yourself why build new speaker cases if these work really fine. Well, because it's fun to do. I have here some pre-cut slices of tree and a plan. Let's do this.
made in Germany clamps. A little splinter in my hand. That's always the problem with wood because wood splinters have about the same color than my skin. So I prefer working with metals because if you have a metal splinter in your hand after a few days it starts rusting and then you see where it is and you can take it out. Of course if you have a rust colored skin maybe it's better to Never mind. That looks professional. I had to build this bizarre looking thing here to cut the right angle. Let's see if it works. After one week of testing upstairs in my living room I think I'm gonna stop this project right here because these speaker boxes don't give me the results I was hoping for. They work fine, that's not the problem. The problem is they do not amplify the right frequencies I was hoping for. Let me explain on the blackboard. If we take a closer look at these speakers and this is viewed from the top, this is more or less the idea. It's the principle of the folded horn speaker. Everyone knows of course the typical horn. Now every frequency has its own horn design. A smaller horn, 
higher frequencies, a bigger horn, lower frequencies. Now these are very complicated calculations to design the right model and I don't understand a thing about it so I don't do, I just copy what I see on the internet after uh, studying uh, forums and other kind of websites and all these things. I came up with this folded design. So in here is of course the speaker. The sound will bounce on this triangle, go out here and this is the idea of the horn of course and the other side same. Now this case here in my building thing over there it is the exact volume so this sound case works perfectly fine no problem with it. The problem is the horn design itself it doesn't respond at this very low frequencies what I was looking for. Of course I tried many different setups. I tried with different crossovers in this uh, speaker system which normally I never use because I filter out on the amplifier and not in the boxes. But I thought you never know if you don't try it never will work. So I tried about everything I could. I'm not happy with the result. Another problem I came across is that the sides of this uh, speaker boxes don't have enough stiffness, which makes the whole thing sound a little bit like a cardboard box. Uh, I don't like cardboard box sound. So let's end it here and go and build something else.